UGD coming at you with a range report on the car CW9 9 millimeter. That is right. It is the correct caliber. And, and fellas, nothing wrong with it. Yeah, the gun runs. It, it was really an enjoyable gun to shoot for the size. Yeah, comfortable gun for the size. Um, accuracy was there. Uh, all in all, pretty pleased with the gun. We had one failure to fire. One. And I'm going to put it up to the garbage junk, uh, Winchester steel cased, should have never bought an ammo, having a hard primer because it knocked the hell out of the primer. And when I recycled it, it didn't go off a second time. So I'm going to say just got a bad primer on that one. So 250 rounds to this gun. And, and the gun does what the gun should do. The reaction from other shooters, they like the gun. Now, the double action, it, it is a long pull. And the reset on it is, of course, long because it's a double action. I mean, it just, you got to reset it all the way back there. But it is a striker fire double action, which I think lends to it being fairly smooth. Fairly smooth. I mean, I'm, I'm not easily impressed with double actions, but that's a pretty smooth. You don't find any grit in it. Uh, the reset is reasonable for a double action. Uh, so, yeah, kudos on the trigger system on this thing. For a budget gun, I think it really hit the mark. Uh, the sight picture, yeah, I like that. I, I did like the dot and post. Of course, the night sights are super bright at night, and that's going to help if you got to use this thing for any business when it's dark. So the fit and the finish is all there. I think the reliability is there. Uh, we did run some hollow points, had no feed problems. That was one interesting thing, because if you remember in the first look, this has got an offset ramp. Yeah, offset ramp to help so you can get more of the trigger goodies in there. They offset that ramp a little bit. Uh, but again, I don't think there's going to be any issue there. I think it's just a, a pretty solid, well-built firearm. And you're looking at these things on the used market around the three, three and a half range, new year, 375, 400. Uh, I think you're getting a pretty decent deal. I will criticize Carr for one thing, besides the awful box. Put another mag with this thing. I mean, this is going to be a carry concealed. It's only a 7 plus 1 capacity. It really needs to have the second mag. And these mags aren't cheap. I mean, they're in the 30s. And really, it would add value to the gun, and I don't know if that would kill the margin where they all said this is a $425 gun, but Carr, come on, figure out a way to get that second mag in there. Uh, and a gun that we ran against this, and, and it really wasn't a competition or trying to go head-to-head, -head, was we went ahead and had one of these bad boys out here. Yeah, I picked one of these up the other day, 6 hour P938. This is a more accurate gun, and I think that two reasons, I think probably... One SIGs are inherently accurate, but then the single action, I think, makes a big difference in shooting this gun. Anytime you're running a double action only, you know, you, you have a tendency to pull through and move just a little bit. I think that's with the most double actions. Uh, my SIG P250 subcompact, it took me a long time to where I felt like I could be accurate at any given time. So, the range report's in, uh, 250 rounds. If you were in the market for one of these bad boys, pick it up. Absolutely pick it up. But you're going to have to dedicate some time and learn how to shoot that double action. You're going to have to learn where that reset's at and get comfortable with it. But as far as the reliability, as far as the build quality, the fit, the finish, uh, it, it really is out of its class. It's out of its price range. Car really hit a home run in the overall of this gun. So this is UGD coming at you with the range report on the car CW9 in 9mm. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you need to think I need to go find something else to do with my free time, hit the dislike and please subscribe. He hates these cans! Stay away from the cans! Die, gas pupper!